Hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today's video is all about Lisa Eldridge. I purchased a few of her items and most of her, the things that I purchased are not new except for her True Velvet Lipstick in Velvet Bloom. So that is new. Everything else is not new to her site, but it is new to me. So I've never tried her, her products and I'm actually very excited to. So we are, what I did purchase was her, her foundation, her Seamless Skin Foundation in shade number 15. I also picked up her elevated um, highlighter, liquid highlighter in Crystal Nebula. I picked up three of her eye, liquid eyeshadows uh, Titania, Angelica, and Liza. I picked up, of course, her newest True Velvet lipstick shade in Velvet Bloom. Why do I keep forgetting that name? So I'll be trying them on and also we'll be doing some swatches along the way. Okay. So the first thing that I really love about her pack of her products is the packaging. The packaging is so luxe, so beautiful so sturdy beautiful box that you the type of box they do not you think of other ways to use um her pet her bottle is so chic so different from any other bottles that i've seen foundation bottles i mean um it does it is oval but it does have a flat side so it's pretty cool okay let me swatch this now it comes in a pump it is so that's like one and a half pumps as you can see it is a nice consistency now it does say in her box this intelligently formulated formulated self-setting foundation blends effortlessly to smooth and unify skin with a natural looking soft focus finish the skin friendly formula gives customizable coverage that fuses seamlessly with your skin. Start with a little and build to your desired level of enhanced perfection. So, let me see this. This is shade 15. Oh, wow. That is a good match. It is very creamy, but very light. Just do one side first. It is, I would, it's a medium, I would say medium to full coverage. It's definitely light. It definitely feels like your skin so this is a side with the foundation and this is a side without the foundation so you can really see a nice difference in how much coverage it does have it is a very um, light feel it does not feel heavy so that's it. Let me go ahead and try the other side. Do another pump or two. That was that's two pumps. Which, if you know anything about Lisa Eldridge, she really likes to just elevate your skin, not look like you're wearing a lot of makeup, which is right up my alley. Very nice. It doesn't cover everything. As you can see, I have a blemish here and a little bit of redness here, but um, if you, but it is buildable as, as far as I can see. It looks good. Next thing is the highlighter, the liquid highlighter and a crystal nebula. That is, the packaging is so beautiful. 
Okay, so it's a a big doe foot, doe foot. Is that how you say it? <laughs> and let's watch it. Wow, that is so pretty. Look at that, that's so pretty. Let's put some here. See. Use my fingers. It's a very natural highlight. Very blendable, light, a light feel. You can see how it catches the light. Very nice, very natural still. It's not like uh, overpowering. A little bit more. Put some here. <laughs> very nice. I love how easy it is to blend. Use the other side now. Ooh, might have put a little bit too much. I love how seamless it is. Very beautiful. Okay, next we're going to try the liquid eyeshadows. This one is in Titania. Same wonderful packaging. Now I've seen her apply it directly on her lid and also and then buff it out with the brush. So I'm gonna do that. This is a very pretty what color is this? It is sort of a copperish, brownish, bronzy color. Wow, this is beautiful. That should give me time to blend. Use this one. Oh yeah, very easy. Very easy. And a very pretty color. So pretty. The next color we're going to try is Angelica. This is more of a pinky mauvey color, I'd say. Here's Angelica. So this is Titania and this is Angelica. Wow, so pretty. Let's try this one on on the other side. That is so pretty. Yeah, definitely more of a day look and more of a of an evening look. Very nice. The next one is Liza. Let's see this one. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. So this is Titania, this is Angelica, and this is Liza. Yeah. 
I am going to take this one off and try and apply the lights on the side on the side just give me a second okay so I took off angelic on this side and now I'm going to go ahead and apply Liza on this side oh you can I think you can really smoke this one out sort of a deep green color I thought it was purple at first but it definitely is not purple now let's blend this out wow this is definitely a beautiful evening look wow it's beautiful i love it Oh, I really like this. And the last thing I purchased is the True Velvet and Velvet Bloom. Now, oh, it's so pretty. Look at her packaging. Look at this packaging. She has this vintage vibe to all her packaging. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. If you know anything about Lisa, she loves vintage makeup and this goes right along the lines of that look very vintagey you have to see this i don't know if other lips other brands do the velvet look velvet look on their lipsticks but this is beautiful i know she took a long time to be able to create this velvet look let's see that is amazing. Wow. How beautiful is that? It's a shame to even try it on. <laughs> wow. That is so pretty. That is just beyond words. Wow. It looks like velvet. It looks like a piece of fabric, velvet fabric. It's insane. Wow. Whoa, I guess we have to try it on, okay? Wow. I just love the color. I think it's a beautiful color. I think this type of red really looks good on anybody. Oh, let me swatch it. Let me swatch it. What's wrong with me? Let's swatch it. this is so pretty i don't know if the light changes the look the look of the red on me i don't know but it is so pretty and it feels so it it doesn't feel dry it still has that creamy cushiony feeling of a satin creamy lipstick but it looks com of course it's completely matte so pretty oh this is one of the best things i like about lipsticks which is the magnet let's do that again <laughs> very nice good job lisa i love her products her foundation is very it's more i would say towards a medium coverage not so much full and not so much light but of course it is buildable um, give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer just to make this look be look a little bit more cohesive. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I just applied a little bit of concealer. I applied the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. And a few words about the Lisa Eldridge products. Now, the foundation 
is oh, it's settled. It has already settled and it is very light, very soft. It is um, more of a medium coverage. I wouldn't say quite full coverage, which is good for me. So it is uh, more of a satin finish. You don't need to set it, which I love because I really don't like to set unless I really have to. Um, the highlighters, very easy to blend. It's the whole line. I think it's very much Lisa Eldridge. It's very much her look from the packaging. Very much her, very classy, very eclectic, very vintagey look. Which so it is her. It is her total aesthetic. The highlighters, like I said, is they're very blendable, very easy to apply. I love that. Easy is key in my life. Also with the liquid eyeshadows, very easy to apply. And I think the eyeshadows that I chose were all beautiful. These are, I would say more, this one here, which is Liza, is more of, I would say, of an evening look. But you know what? You do as you please. It's your your body, your choice, as I say. <laughs> um, very nice. I love, love, love it. Uh, they're very blendable, easy to apply, and they're on they not they're not budging the lipstick i am not a fan of anything matte okay um, so far this formula feels very soft creamy yet still looks matte so i do love that i love the color it makes your teeth look whiter which is always a plus and it's wonderful i really do enjoy it um, I hope you guys like it. And um, let me see anything else that I'm missing. And I think that is it, guys. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Please come back. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like. And leave a comment of anything else you would like me to try. Please let me know. And you have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you for watching.